Hi, I'm Chelsea Ritchie and I'm here at North Park Elementary School with our Get Ready Camp. Um, we're here with our families. We're bringing those in from any child that's from birth to five years old. You can bring your child to Get Ready Camp to work on different learning skills um, with your child. We have some really exciting stuff going on. This week we've been learning about community helpers. Um, one of the community helpers that we've been learning about is community helpers that keep us safe. Um, so today we have a special guest coming, a police officer. We are super excited. He's going to be showing us how he keeps our community safe. He's also going to be talking to our families about some different things they can do in their community. And we're really excited about our Get Ready Camp. We hope that some more families come and join us. Next week we're going to be learning about camping. Um, so we hope that you bring your families to come and work with us and have lots of fun with those learning-based experiences. Thank you guys so much. Oh, look at all these excellent listeners. You all look ready to learn today. Who's ready to learn? Raise your hand if you're ready to learn something today. Awesome. All right. Before we get started, I want to welcome you guys. We are so excited you're here at Get Ready Camp. We are going to have lots of fun today. Our question today is, what community helpers keep us safe? A firefighter. A firefighter is one community helper that can help keep us safe. Now, another community helper that we're going to learn about today, and we even have a special visitor coming. <gasps> Guess who it is? A police officer. A police officer, a police officer can help keep us safe. He is one of the ones that would keep us safe, just like a firefighter. And at 12.30, at 12.30, we have Officer Wilson come in to visit us. So we're going to do some fun activities this morning. And at 12.30, we have a special visitor. Officer Wilson's going to come talk to us about his job. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yay! All right. So all week we've been talking about community helpers. I want you guys to look for a second. On our wall, we made a list of some of the ones that we've talked about this week or some that you might see, okay? So while you're sitting down, Ms. Chelsea's going to point to a community helper and we're going to talk about what their job is. Our first one up here, we have not talked about a whole lot. It's somebody that might fix your car. Does anybody know what kind of job that might be? Yeah. Somebody that would fix your car. A mechanic, that's right Milo, a mechanic. What about, what is a community helper that if you're feeling sick, like you got a runny nose and you need to go see someone? A doctor. What if your pet is sick? Who would we go see? A vet, that's right. What is Miss Chelsea's job? A teacher, that's right. A teacher is right here. Now, what is a community helper that would put out fires? Fire What's a community fire. helper? A firefighter, that's right. What if we want to build something? What's a community helper that is really good at building things? A builder? They have a special name. They're called a construction worker. Construction worker. What about if your teeth need cleaning? Who do we go see? A dentist. What about if you have a letter that you want to mail to someone? Who might you put? Who might come get your letter? A mailman or a mail carrier. And who's going to be our special visitor today? A police officer. And last one. Who would come if you have trash that you need picked up from your house? A garbage man. And they have another, they can be called a trash collector. Those are some of the community helpers that we've learned about this week and that we're going to continue to learn about. All right. So those are some of the community helpers that we've been learning about. Now, we're getting ready to get started with our first activity. All right, so let's get started with what our first activity is. Now, my grown-ups, if you guys can have your eyes on me as well, so you'll see what you're going to be doing with your child. In our in classrooms, 
and um, sometimes you might see these already pre-made. These are called clip carts. This is something that you can use to work on lots of different skills. For today, we're going to start by looking at counting. So our first activity is going to be for counting. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating our own set of clip cards. So what you will be doing with your child is helping them to write the numbers that are at the bottom. So for this one, friends, how many dots do you see? One. one. So grown-ups, what you will do is you will write the number one. Now, you'll see that there are three numbers at the bottom. You can write that number in any of those three spots. So what you're going to do is if it's a one and you write the number one, they will draw that many dots. So what, how many dots would I draw on this one? One. one. Let's look at another one. Let's look at, well, out of order. Let's look at this one. How many dots do you see on this one? Two. So for this one, grown-ups, you'll write the number two, and you can see it's not in the middle this time. It's in a different spot. So you'll write that number two, and they will draw two dots. Now, there's two other numbers here. How do we do that? After they've written, you've written the number, and they've drawn the dots, you'll just add two random numbers to the side, one through ten. And that's going to create your clip card. For each number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you'll have a clip card. Now, if your child is a little bit younger, you can always do one through five first. See how they do with that and then add on from there. But as after they have you've you've drawn the number, they've drawn the dots, then you just pick two random numbers to go beside it. Once all of your cards are created, and we're going to be passing these out so you can see examples as well. Once all your cards are created, friends, this is what you're going to do. Your grown-up is going to hand you a card that looks like this, and it has three numbers at the bottom. You're going to count how many dots you see, and then they're going to take a clothespin, which works on those fine motor skills, little pinchy fingers, to get them ready for writing, they will pinch and find that number at the bottom. So where's the number one on this card? Can anybody find it for me? In the middle, right here. This is the number one. So I'm going to take my pinchy fingers, clip it on, and then you'll give them a different card after that. Now, your cards are white. You do not have to worry about drawing the extra lines on here. Just three numbers at the bottom and an amount of dots at the top. That's what they're going to be working on. All right? And we're going to come around and help you guys as far as giving you guys examples of it. So I know these can be a little tricky, okay? All right, friends. So here's what we're going to do. Stand up. Stand up. You're going to use your walking feet to find your grown-up and have a seat with them. We're going to come around and show you guys what we're going to do with these, okay? Go find your grown-up.
what comes after three? The next thing we're going to do is we're getting really close to our time for our visitor to come. But before we do that, we have a story for today about lots of different community helpers. Okay? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, touch your nose. If you're ready for a story, touch your nose. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, touch your nose. If you're ready for a story, say. If you're ready for a story, say shh, shh. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, say shh, shh. Great job. All right, I have lots of friends ready for my story. Our story today is called, Whose Hat Is This? That's the title of our story. Whose Hat Is This? We're going to have to figure out who some of these community helpers are in our story. Whose hat is this? So bright and shiny. What do you guys think? Whose hat might this be? If you think it's a firefighter, touch your nose. If you think it's a police officer, touch your head. Let's see. This is a firefighter's helmet. She runs into burning buildings to put out fires. Her helmet keeps her head safe from falling objects and the heat. Hot, hot, hot. Whose hat is this hanging over her face? Whose hat does that look like? Hmm. Let's look and see. You think it, well, we just saw a firefighter. I wonder who this hat might be. Malik, how would you say, babe? He says it's a beekeeper. Hmm, has anybody ever seen a beekeeper before? Malik, can you tell us what does a beekeeper do? Who, what do they work with? They work with other beekeepers, and what, what do they take care of? 
Like baby bees? Baby, baby bees. Let's see. Baby. He's right. Look. Malachi was right. This is a beekeeper's hat. A beekeeper raises bees for honey. She reaches into the hive with the buzzing bees to get the honey in her hat covers her face and protects her from the stings. How many of you guys would want to work with bees? Me. Oh, I don't know. Me, I, Miss Beattie said this morning and Miss Chelsea said, no way. No, I would not work with bees. I am. You would work with bees? Ooh. I work with kids, not bees. <laughs> oh. About. Oh, I almost tricked you guys. I almost showed you what, what was next. Whose hat is this that is tall and clean? Ooh, what'd you say, sweetie? A baker? Maybe a baker? What does a baker do? They cook things. Look, she's right. It's a chef or a baker's hat. This hat is also called a toucan, right? His hat shows that his kitchen is clean. The chef is in charge of a restaurant and wears the tallest hats. Whose hat is this with a silver badge? A police officer. It is part of his uniform. A police officer's cap helps people find her quickly in a crowd because no one else will be wearing the same thing. You're right, up next is a helmet. Whose hat is this round and strong hat? Who might wear that hat? Helmet. Who might wear a helmet? You would wear that helmet? What might you do if you're wearing that helmet? Would you play a sport maybe? No. Maybe like t-ball or soccer? Hmm. When you're riding a motorcycle, you might wear a helmet. Let's look and see. Oh, what's he doing? He's playing football. This is a football player's helmet. When one football player tackles another one, his helmet keeps his head safe if he hits the ground or another player. Whose hat is this shining bright in the night? Woo! An astronaut, maybe. You said astronaut too? Let's look and see. This is an astronaut's help. Great job, um, Rachel. It is part of his spacesuit. Up in the sky, there are, is no air. His helmet gives him air to breathe and keeps his body steady temperature so he doesn't get too hot or cold. Whose hat is this? So hard and yellow and shiny? Maybe a construction worker. Remember, we've seen our firefighter. Maybe a construction worker. Let's look and see. Were we right? A construction worker. His hard hat helps him. Sometimes workers drop pieces of wood or sharp things while they are working. A construction worker wears a hard hat to protect his head. Where's your head? Can anybody show me where's your head? So all of these hats or helmets are on their head. Good job. Whose hat is this so warm and snuggly? Maybe Santa Claus? Hmm, let's look and see. A snowman is wearing this hat, but look who's wearing this hat. This is a hat for a friend, like a child. Yeah, when it's cold outside, yeah, it, it, protect your it can protect your head and keeps you nice and warm. And, and. When it snows, it keeps your head dry too. And, and, your, ear. and your ears, that's right. So those were lots of different hats that you might see on a community helper. Now, I'm going to turn one back. Let's look and see. It's this hat. Whose hat was this? Policeman. Policeman. A policeman. Policeman. Hmm. 
And do you guys remember I said that there might be a special visitor today? A police officer. Oh, he's out there. You think so? Did you already spot him? You think so? We, we have a special visitor that is coming in. In just a minute, he's, he was making a phone call. But his name is Officer Wilson. You all say good afternoon, Officer Wilson. I'll say good afternoon. Hi, what's going on, guys? You'll say hi. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Are you guys enjoying camp so far? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. You can have the floor. Yeah. Yep, you can have the floor. Um, we're going to let Officer Wilson talk about his job and some of the things that he might see or you might see while if he's out patrolling, because we talked a little bit about that. Um, and he's also going to be, if you guys have any questions about his job, if you ever wanted to be a police officer. Me. So let's let him talk about his job, and then we'll ask him some questions at the end. Got it? All right, let's put our eyes on Officer Wilson, and let's be awesome listeners for him. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you guys know what the what police officers do? Yeah, yeah. he lets people and kills people. What? He lets the people. He always lets people in jail. Well, I don't know about I don't know about the second part. The first part, yes. Yeah. The first part, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What did you say? Oh, that's true. What did you say? Cody, what did you say? What are we talking about this week? What do we say? Our question is today, they keep us what? They keep us safe. There you go. That's the, that's the main part. One question is two. Huh? One question is two. I don't know what At least I can't put them away. You have a question? Go ahead. Oh, really? That's what I'm talking about. Then you, right. then you didn't even need us. Yeah. Do you have a question, ma'am? I have one. I can't hear you. Because we, because we work in an unsafe job and because there's a lot of bad people out there. And so sometimes bad people want to hurt other people. So... To try to prevent that from happening, we carry him with us. Oh. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Does your unit have a dog? Like sometimes we see some police officers that have dogs. Does your police station have a dog? So unfortunately, we do not have a dog. Oh. Uh, we do not. If we need if we need dog assistance or canine assistance, we'll call for the sheriff's department, and the sheriff's office will come out and assist us with that. But we don't have the uh, the personnel for a dog right now. Yeah. Officer Wilson, we've been talking a lot about what community helpers do and how they keep us safe and what, uh, and they've been learning about what community helpers they might want to be. Okay. If they wanted to become a police officer one day, how could they become a police officer? Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Uh, so the main thing is you want to always do good in school, always pay attention in school, and just and stay out of trouble. If you stay out of trouble, that's the, that's, the, that's the biggest part to want to become and do this job is just try to stay out of trouble. Because you get in trouble, then might not be able to become a police officer. But do good in school and stay out of trouble, and the world is yours. <laughs> Any other questions? I have a question. What's your question? Which one, this right here? Yeah. This is a taser. It's in a, yeah, it, shock, it shocks people. Yeah, that's right. What's up, man? Cody, do you have a question? Okay, go ahead. We'll start with you in the back. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. What is what? This is my key to my car. I got it outside. 
Go ahead, Malachi. Okay, let me let's talk. Let's, Malachi is gonna go first. I do. I have a set right here on my belt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your question? You got a question or not? Did you have something you want to know about his job? Which what? Point to it. I don't know what to do. This? This right here? What's this? This is a, a memorial pin. It's just helps my, help my uniform look good. Oh. oh, this thing fell off. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I think I got it. Thank you. Did you So it's got a bunch of lights on it. It's got lights in the grill down there. It's got lights in the in the top and it's got lights around the back. Why do you think he might need those bright lights? Just so maybe if he's in the dark? That's a, that's a good that's one. That's a good one. Oh, well, maybe not a criminal, but that they, that they may have violated the law in some, in some form or fashion. That's right. I do. I don't know if I want to. It's loud. <laughs> Huh? Okay. All right. Watch your ears, okay? Because it's kind of loud. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys what the inside is. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming. We hope you join us again next week. In the whole month of June, we'll be doing our activities. Thank you.